Chips, if I were to ask you what are your five top cuisines in the world, what would you choose? Okay, I'm gonna hook you guys up. I'm gonna take you guys on a culinary journey all across India from right here in Dubai, Trezind restaurant, and here's what I'll say. If it doesn't end up being one of your top five, you're at least gonna absolutely love the food. I guarantee it. Wow, that was amazing. So entertainment right before you dig in, which is what I'm about to do. It's like nine or 10 different ingredients in here. But here we go. Take a look at this, peeps. Our first bite right here. Mmm. Wow, so many textures in there. I mean, just the right amount of crispiness, just the right amount of creaminess, just the right amount of goodness. Beautiful. Wow, that was amazing. That liquid nitrogen, bringing the temperature down. That is the sev on top of the chat. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about why you got into the restaurant business. When I was born, my dad had a restaurant in India, in Patna in Bihar. And he was doing this business with a couple of his friends and uh, going forward, uh, they broke. The partnership dissolved in 1979. And I was very young at that time and I saw tears in my dad's eyes. And um, as a young boy, you know, you love your parents and you want to give it to them. So in myself, within me, I took a while that one day when I grow up, I will return a restaurant to my father. So this is one of our signature soups. Uh, we call it wild mushroom chai. Now, one of the reasons we also call it chai is it's presented like breakfast tea. Now, every element from which chai is made is all made of mushrooms. And what we've done is we've taken mushrooms, we've dehydrated them. So these are tea leaves for your tea. We've taken truffle oil and we've converted the oil into powder. So when we do this, it turns white. So this is like milk powder or sugar for your tea. Locally, these mushrooms are known as lightning mushrooms because these mushrooms, they grow in the exact same spot where lightning strikes. So it's very naturally grown, very unique. It's got a very peculiar taste to it. It's like pouring black tea. So the oil melts, the mushrooms, they hydrate back. And this is the only soup in the world that you will sip it like chai. <laughs> so look at that, the reveal on that. So we've been saying chai the entire time, but it's actually not a chai. It is a soup presented like that, brilliant. I love that. I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow, it is very potent, so flavorful. Wow, rehydrated mushrooms. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Nothing like getting a little bit of truffle, you know, and the, the mushrooms. I mean, those are like two of the best ingredients you can cook with. <laughs> you know, really, like it's unbelievable. Since you love to cook, you will tell me. Oh, wow. I'm not leaving these mushrooms. Look at that. So you don't want that, guys. You see this? You gotta <laughs> have it all. Perfect. So everything which, which we do here is out of uh, love and passion. What we are trying to do here is tell the world not just me, along me along with many Indian chefs, we have this agenda of changing people's perception about Indian food, that it's not just about few dishes. There is X amount of uh, dishes, cuisine, culture. Even in India, when you travel every 100 kilometers, the cuisine changes, language changes, culture changes. It is so beautiful. 
and it needs to be conveyed to the rest of the world that Indian food, it's not just about spices, but of course, is also about techniques. I think uh, being in Dubai uh, is a great uh, benefit in that way because here you have people from different parts of the world. When I saw the crowd around, when I saw a lot of restaurants around over here, people are going out to eat, people love to spend money over here. So we said yes. This is the place to open up a first restaurant. We're going to present you our tenderloin steak. Okay, it's about that time to eat, and I want to make sure I get all of this in one go, which is what Chef Mali told me to do. So I'm just gonna very quickly hold this, pick it all up. I'm super excited because this reminds me of so many things. I mean, wow, it, it reminds me of being in Buenos Aires in Argentina because that, that beef and then the chimichurri sauce, which I love so much, but it's got that Indian touch with those onions, those chili onions, I, I, I love that. All right, let's go. Mmm, those flavors fly me to Argentina and then fly me to India and then fly me back to Dubai. Super nice. I mean, I'm actually not used to normally having beef at an Indian restaurant, but that's amazing beef, tenderloin, nicely done, juicy, and that sauce is brilliant. And I love the texture of that chimichurri, but that garlic, those onions, and the Japanese pickled ginger. Fantastic touch. So creative. I love it. My route to Dubai is via New York. So I always believed that probably Dubai is not the city for me. Then I realized in New York that probably New York is not the city of my of my dreams. It's, I feel more home in Dubai than I felt at, in New York, a place which is very close to my country uh, in terms of uh, the way uh, I can live here, I can be myself. So I didn't choose the city, the city uh, chose me and this is what I feel. So I've been shortlisted for the Best Chef Awards. The result is uh, yet to come, but to be able to make that list of the shortlist also is, uh, is something which is uh, great for our restaurant. But all these Chef Awards, I must say that I believe that it's uh, it's not an individual award because uh, the chef is nothing without his team. So it's I would think that it's more of a team award than an individual award. Who are you targeting with the restaurant? I mean, it's a beautiful spot. Who are your customers? See, we never aimed to target a, a, a particular nationality or a particular client and all. So we changed the whole perception and the way was the right place for us to do because we have a cosmopolitan crowd over here from different nationals and every 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 different countries and they all love to eat food good food proudest thing is Tresen was born in dubai so now i'm preparing a khichdi of india so khichdi basically the lentils and the rice we cook together like a dal and rice so here is the north part south east and west did you see the way they made that? I can't even begin to think or understand how the inside of my mouth, the inside of my cheeks, the upper part of my mouth, my tongue, how can they make sense of those 20 ingredients from the 20 states in India? I mean, this is unreal. And I love the presentation. I mean, did you see that? I wanna mix that around because I realized the top of it was starting to go solid and things like that. And I wanna make sure everything is all mixed in properly and gonna get a bite of that. It's just it's so beautiful. Mm. Oh man, your imagination tells you when you're adding 20 things into a dish that there's gonna be this blast of flavors everywhere, but there isn't a blast of flavors. It all just makes sense and it's brilliant. Wow. I swear. This is part science, part art, and a whole lot of love. <laughs> so now I'm preparing a butter pepper garlic prawn. So first I'm gonna add butter. This, I'm adding a fresh prawn. Nice. After this, I'm adding a fresh basil leaf. Ooh. And balsamic vinegar. Now I'm adding a pepper garlic sauce. Pepper garlic sauce. So, yes, huh? 
Made in house over here? Yes, we That's make awesome. it in house. Now I'm adding a little bit of a little bit Nice. So I think that's going to be parsley and coriander and mint in there, the three. Green, nice. Oh my God, you can't imagine this. When is this technology going to allow the viewer to smell this? Wow, it's fantastic. Now yeah. I'm adding some uh, fresh veggies, bok choy lettuce, oh. zucchini and carrot. Look at that. And that was the colors of the Indian flag. Mm -hmm. I, I know, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that when you did it. <laughs> so for this, I'm adding a key pie mayo. It's a Japanese mayo. Mm -hmm. So a bit of pepper garlic prawns is now ready. Fantastic. And on a nicely cut banana leaf over there. Yes. Now I'm adding a fried tempura. Oh, tempura. Pink pepper and freshly chopped coriander. All right, it's time to have our final dish before we head to dessert. And this is butter, pepper, garlic, prawn. There we go. Ooh, it's super hot as well, so I, I better be careful. I do want to make sure I get a little bit of everything. And here we go, guys, right there. Again, I was expecting the flavors to kind of pop in my mouth, but I really love this dish. It, it's like consistent from the time you put the prawn into your mouth while you chew and as it goes down, it's got the same level of flavor. Very mellow. It's kind of like tempura prawns, but it was deconstructed. The tempura just kind of is like this beautiful decoration. A little bit of Asia, a little bit of India, a little bit of Europe, a little bit of the rest of the world. Perfect for Dubai. You want to prove something? The whole world eyes on Dubai. So I was smart to catch up in 2014. Dubai is the city. Okay, so I'll start here. So it's called uh, Rose Real Bit Okay, so the first thing here we have, it's a arrow dulce tart. Okay, so next we have uh, this lychee, which is infused with uh, rose syrup and vanilla pulp. Okay. Wow. So then we have uh, cottage cheese jungling. In India, we call it uh, anguri rasmalai. Mm. So then we have uh, this condensed milk with uh, rose and raspberry solvent, fish statues, some raspberry powder here, a little bit of uh, silver flakes. And for the garnish, I'm going to use this rose and I'll put this into the liquid nitrogen to freeze it. So we'll just put it on the side of the plate. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, that experience. You got to get that in real life, not on a video. You got to come over here. I actually felt like a bunch of that fall into my lap, which I loved actually, honestly. Amazing. So here we go. Here we go. Let me break over here. Whoops, got that in half. I, I did this on purpose, peeps. I, I want a big bite. Oh my God, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that. That is condensed milk. Ooh, am I gonna be able to put all this? No, this is this is dangerous in every way. So I am gonna cut this in in half like that. Still gonna get everything. That is just a beautiful thing, and it's my thing. That's the kind of dessert where you put your fork and your spoon down because you gotta kind of think about what you just put in your mouth and what you chewed on and what you just swallowed because. You want to remember this moment for a very long time. Once again, so many flavors that just work so well together and they feel as if they are one. You know, there's so much to love about everything that I ate today. I mean, I love the amount of care that went into everything. I love the amount of attention to detail that went into everything. And certainly, I love the amount of love that went into everything because if you don't love food you're not gonna do it this way so wow yeah these guys they are changing the game with indian food i love it so that's it that was the end of this amazing meal peace out guys mm -hmm.